Hi, this is Michael Walker, Secondary Technology Integration Specialist for Edina Public Schools. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can add a Creative Commons license to your Moodle site to give attribution, but also to allow people to use it or not use it depending on what license you'd like to have. Anything that you create for the school district that you work for is really the property of the district. So you need to uh, give attribution that way, but you can also give yourself credit for creating the course. So to begin, I'm going to go to the Creative Commons Choose a License site at creativecommons.org slash choose. And on this site, you can fill in some information, and it will automatically keep track and build a license that you can then embed on your website. So for these purposes, I'm not going to allow commercial use of the work. Um, most districts would say that if you're creating something curriculum for the district, they at some time may want to sell it, but uh, they wouldn't want others to make money off it if they can. Uh, allowing modifications of the work here, I'm going to say yes as long as people share alike. I'm going to keep it an international jurisdiction. And then down here, I can add some other aspects of it. And so I'm going to say that the format is interactive because this is a website, Moodle course. The title of the work, in this case, it's a Moodle sandbox. The attribute work to name, I'm going to say uh, Michael Walker for Edina Public Schools, my employer. Um, the work URL, I'm going to put the district website. Fill that in. Uh, the source work, uh, that's where the Moodle site where it happens to be, so I'm going to say our Moodle site. And then the permissions URL, you could put in uh, mail to colon and then your email address if you wanted to. I'm going to leave that blank. I'll click select a license. And you'll see that it will generate all the information. You can kind of take a look and see what it looks like. Here you can select either the large graphic or the smaller graphic. I'll keep the large graphic. It shows the title who created it. This would link to the Edina Public Schools site. Here's the Creative Commons attribution uh, commercial licensing, and that's a link to what that licensing means based on a work here. So now, as I scroll down, I'll see all of this text. And so I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to come back to my Moodle site my course. And for my purposes, I'm going to put this on the sidebar. So I'm going to come down here to add a block. And I'm going to select under blocks, I'm going to add an HTML block. And that's going to bring up a dialog. Here's my new HTML block. I'll click on the editing tool so that I can edit that. So for the block title, I'll say Creative Commons License. And then down here, I'm going to click on this little greater than less than symbol, and that's going to switch me to HTML. And once I click and switch to that, I'll paste in the code. And once I've got that code in there, I'll save my changes.
and you'll see on the right hand side that text information and here you see it showing up right here so that's a quick way to set up that Creative Commons licensing and I encourage you to uh, fill that out for yourself as a way to uh, give attribution for the time and effort that you put in on your course um, but also to allow others to uh, have access and, and utilize it. Thanks.